Hey guys, Hobo4Craft here, aka Mr. Hobo, and I'm going to be giving you a commentary actually today as uh, I still not have been able to figure out uh, why I haven't been able to download replays and then load them properly. So I'm just going to give you a commentary of my own game actually, and I'm going to try and teach you how to be a reactionary player per se. Uh, it's not an official term or anything, it's just something... I made up, and you, we are going to see that it is Zerg versus Protoss. Uh, I do play Zerg, and what I mean by reactionary player is that y you're not really deciding what you do, rather your opponent decides what you do for you, and in certain cases it can be very effective as just a, a, a style of gameplay. And um, I mean, my opponent may not be the best, but I'm just going to try to get the point across to you. And you can see, so far, everything is pretty standard. I believe I'm going 13, uh, 13 pool, 15 hatch. So it, it's a pretty standard build here. Uh, and pretty large map, you can see, which is why it is also pretty comfortable to expand. But yeah, he is putting up this pylon at the choke. Uh, he is going to be putting up his gateways, uh, gateway there. Uh, just a little quick note, if you do play Protoss, and you especially want to do this versus Zerg, who does tend to push with Zerglings, or I su should say Rush, because because it is a rush uh, with Zerglings uh, pretty often, uh, especially when you don't block off, that's when they will take advantage of that and harass your economy and just make life very tough for you. And he's going to be putting down a gateway. And one important thing to do when using this uh, type of style of gameplay is it's very important to get a drone or whatever race you play. This can apply to many different races, but I'm going to show you Zerg here. It's very important to get a drone and just scout out what he, the player is doing. You can see that is what I'm doing. I'm just looking around here. Uh, I do see another pylon going up. And you know what? I... I don't really see anything out of the ordinary, so I'm thinking maybe this could be some type of just standard zealot play or zealot play he's gonna be getting, and I am going to be getting my hatchery right now. Um, and right about here, I see he brings his probe over here, and he actually does put a cybernetic score down, so I know he's gonna be going fast stalkers. He, you can see, he's not even pumping units out of this gateway just yet. And I haven't realized it yet because I, I, I don't see it with my uh, drone here. But he is going to be getting an assimilator, which is another telltale tip uh, that tells you he's he obviously needs gas for something. And if you put two and two together, it's going to be stalkers here. Not too uncommon for Protoss, especially against Zerg, which are pretty effective against especially roaches. Because stalkers are just so much faster than roaches if they're not on creep. And one thing I do like to do is get two or four Zerglings out just to uh, capitalize on my scouting ability if my opponent has not blocked off. Um, at the very least, I like I like to get one group of Zerglings out because I could get Zelnaga Towers and just patrol around. Uh, very common sense. And you can see I'm just macroing up. Even though I do know he is going to be pushing, uh, he, you can see he is uh, researching this warp gate technology. And just a little encounter here. Uh, I'm just gonna micro some zerglings here. But anyway, he is getting this warp gate te technology, so we can expect some kind of X number of warp gate push. And I'm I'm still just going on my normal way. Uh, I'm not being very defensive as of yet. I have this overlord, and I'm still in his base scouting, which is very important because you want to know as much as possible. And I believe I just let this circling go away because I already have the information I need. You can see he's chrono boosting the stalker. And I'm still just macroing up here. You can see I'm not getting any offensive unit whatsoever. No zerglings, no nothing. Except I do have this queen which will be pumping out larva pretty soon if I'm not too much of a noob. Go. And I'll probably do that right here. But, uh, yeah. I'm still just pumping out drones. And you can see in, let's see, let's go to the production tab here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, let's see, income. You can see I'm now just catching up to him with harvester count, uh, which is important because I did opt for an early hatchery 
uh, relatively early, of course. Uh, but I still am on par with him, even though he uh, has not spent the time to get uh, a second expo or an expo. And you can see I'm actually passing him in this way. And I got my Overlord here just scouting. You can see I really just want to know what's going on. It's very important to have scouting or scouts rather at all points where units would pass to have to get to your base. And you can see I'm going to be sending this Overlord over here just because uh, sometimes when uh, Protosses block off their choke point, either here, well, especially here, sometimes here, not as common. They will destroy this ba uh, back destructible rock, so they can get out of their base once they have enough to push. And you can see how many how many stalkers he has in a relatively short amount of time, uh, about 7:30, uh, 7 minutes 30 seconds here. And I do see him destroying this overlord, and right away I go for zerglings, and I'm getting this uh, metabolic boost upgrade uh, s for speedlings here. And you can see I am putting down spine crawlers. And one thing that's uh, a good tactic to do is actually distract your opponent by thinking you're making making him think you're making a mistake by sending some units his way. But really, what I'm doing here is I just want to ward him off. I want to drag him away from my base because I am believing that he is going to be pushing soon, and I need all the time I can get before the spine crawlers do go up. And you can see he is putting down a pylon, so he will be able to warp in all these units. Look, it's going to be a four gate push here. Um, and he has a lot of stalkers, and you can see I'm just I just 